Hi, my name is uh, Art Neuenschwander. I work uh, at Kidron Electric and Mechanical Contractors. And uh, this is a project here in Hartville, Ohio, uh, of a new hardware store with over six acres under roof. I'm Howard Miller, uh, Jr., and I'm president of Hartville Hardware. Uh, my brother Wayne and I uh, operate the, the hardware store, which is currently about a quarter mile down the road and uh, we're just building a new store, hoping to be open in March. Name is Paul Miller. I'm, uh, I work for Kittering Electric. Uh, I'm the job supervisor at Hartville Hardware here. Uh, today we're setting the uh, rooftop equipment um, on the roof. There's 30 units. Uh, we had to get a helicopter in to, to do it. Kittering Electric, uh, this is actually our third major project on this piece of property, the Hartville Kitchen and the uh, uh, Hartville Marketplace and now the Hartville Hardware. And they've uh, done all the HVAC in all three of those jobs. Uh, do And they're always kind of forward thinking and, and we trust them to do a good job for us. This uh, facility requires 30 rooftop units. And uh, we did explore the possibility of setting up a crane, but given its uh, width, which is over 350 feet, uh, the crane and the size and relative to the weight of the rooftop units, uh, we chose to go with a helicopter because a uh, stationary crane would have had to uh, set up and dismantle three times to reach the center of the building, which uh, to their estimate would have been a uh, three-day project. There actually would have been an option for a uh, crane out of uh, Chicago that could have reached the center but it would have had to move three times and it would have taken like three days to do the project. And when you put uh, that kind of labor and time, it was actually more expensive to go um, with the uh, crane than the helicopter. The helicopter, it's not going quite as fast as what we anticipated. However, it's still gonna be about a three hour event the way it's uh, looking here right now. These units are to heat and cool the building um, we have six guys on the roof, they're the roof crew. They take the straps off as, as the unit comes in or once it's set. And then uh, the ground crew will, will hook everything up on the other end. When they came, the, they brought, uh, f there was four people that came in the uh, helicopter and uh, their instructions, they sat down first and we went over a 30 minute training session, giving us instructions of how to unhook what not to hold on to, what to hook up. Just Who's on ground hookup guy? Need four, four guys on the ground? Guys okay. On the ground. Two, three, four. All right, now out of you four, figure out which one of you guys is the lead. And you're going to be in charge of the I'll do that. Okay. And hooks it, and the other guys steady the unit as it goes. Don't wait for the hook. Get aggressive. If it starts, if it's reachable, go after it. As the units are coming down, as soon as you can get your hands on it, at the very bottom of it, get your hands on it. Grab a hold of it. If it's swinging a little bit, get in front of it, you know, walk a little bit. Know your foot positioning so you don't fall through a hole. But, you know, you can slow it down a little bit and start pushing it over to where you want it. If you push the unit, you'll push the helicopter. So if, if the hole is here and the, air, the unit's over here and we push it this way, you'll push the aircraft over with you. So you push it to your hole. All I'm going to do is just keep the, the weight load on it. You're going to actually steer it over the hole. And once you get it over the hole, it's going to start coming down. And I'll be controlling him, so I'll know about where you're at. Just push it right onto the curb. I mean, you, just, you have to be aggressive with it. Don't be timid. Don't be afraid of it. On the ground, we have one person per strap. And on the roof, we have a person also for uh, each strap. And also uh, two supervisors that are uh, overseeing from our end and working with uh, their people who are communicating uh, to the pilot as the, as the uh, units get set. Once it gets to about head level, I'm going to have him hold and he'll settle a little bit with power so it may come down from, from five or six feet to three feet. You know, spin it, get it in your position and then once you guys are in position, I'll, I'll start, hey, the guys are ready and I can tell by the way you guys are already ready to go starting to push it in that direction and then I'll have them give me slack, give me slack, give me slack. Boom, and it'll go right on the plate. The crews uh, prior to the rooftops uh, getting here and the, of course the helicopter coming, we uh, fabricated all the rooftop uh, curbs, put those in place, got them all prepped. And then of course when the units arrived, 
double check our measurements, make sure they all fit. And so when we set them, they are set uh, permanently in, in place, ready to be hooked up. I mean, it's just like working with a regular crane. The only difference is that it's not going to be absolutely perfect precision. You're going to have to push it into its final resting place. The units range in weight from about 800 to 2700. If for any reason um, there is a problem, um, I'm going to yell scatter. And I mean just what I say, <laughs> scatter, run. But when I say that, keep an eye on where it is. Because I don't know where it's going, I just know there's a problem. And he's going to go and odds are he's going to have to punch that load off. Worst case scenario, but you know, I, I want to make sure that you guys are aware. When I got the uh, price of, the, um, of using a crane, I said, well, let me try a few other options. So I actually got on the internet. And in our uh, heating and air conditioning magazines, they advertise in those magazines. But I actually found this company on the internet. Uh, they're located in Pittsburgh, figuring that uh, it's about an hour uh, flight from Pittsburgh to Hartville. And that worked out. It's working out very well.